Hello and welcome back to The Breakfast Show. UNESCO Cairo office recently organized an event on women sharing a chemical moment in time. The event brings women who are specialized in chemistry, actually chemists, to work together, network, exchange ideas before the official launch of the International Year of Chemistry in Paris. The International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry is joining hands with UNESCO to prepare for the year-long celebration of the achievements of chemistry and how mankind have benefited from these. A number of activities are planned under the unifying theme, Chemistry, Our Life, Our Future. The year 2011 coincides with the 100th anniversary of the Nobel Prize awarding for Marie Curie, an opportunity to celebrate the contributions of women to science. And we'd like to welcome with us now in the studio Ambassador Tarek Shawi, the director of the UNESCO Regional Bureau for Science in Arab States. Good morning. Good morning. A very good morning to you, Dr. Shawi. An entire year dedicated to chemistry. The first question that comes to mind is why? Well, um, I guess that signifies how important we think chemistry is, uh, both at UNESCO and the International Union for Pure and Applied uh, Chemistry, IUPAC, uh, who both decided uh, back in August one, 2007 that it's very important to highlight the role of chemistry for humankind, the achievements of chemistry. The General uh, Assembly of IUPAC uh, endorsed uh, a resolution to choose the year 2011 as the International Year of Chemistry, followed by the Executive Board at UNESCO who uh, endorsed the same resolution, which got ratified by the UN General Assembly in August 2008. That's why we have 2011 as this year. Mm -hmm. But there are actually four objectives of the International Year of Chemistry. The first is to increase generally public appreciation for the subject of chemistry and its role in uh, improving the well-being of humankind and how it contributes to economic progress and uh, a better environment. Uh, also equally important is to increase the interest of young students in chemistry, mm -hmm. uh, bring to their attention the role of chemistry and how important it is for them to study that subject. Uh, third is to bring the attention of the society at large to um, creative chemistry industries, mm -hmm. uh, industries like molecular medicine, the choice of new materials, uh, explain to them how important this is to their well-being. And uh, most important also is to put a light on the role of women in chemistry. Mm -hmm. That's why we chose 2011, which marks the 100th anniversary for the Nobel Prize uh, Award to uh, Marie Curie, as you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, you were just saying about how important chemistry is. And the theme this year is chemistry, our life, our future. How important is, in, is chemistry to our lives as people in general? Well, Chemistry actually is a very rich subject. It's actually a mix of science and art. Uh, and it's one of the very early sciences that even the pharaohs discovered and through chemistry they knew how to do a lot of things. It, mm -hmm. it enters everything we do, from food processing to handling the environment to purifying water. So actually there is a global experiment this year, one of the activities uh, along the year to encourage students around the world to get excited about chemistry is just about water. We call it water, a chemical solution. Mm -hmm. So water that they drink every day, they wash with every day. We wanted to bring their attention to one crucial uh, 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 element, which is, is water. Um, the experiment, every research institute, university, school will compete in making experiments related to water purification, desalination, just to excites students about the role of chemistry in something so dear to them. So chemistry really penetrates our lives in so many ways. Food processing, new foods, new packaging, new preservation, all involves chemistry. You mentioned that uh, one of the objectives of uh, a whole year dedicated to chemistry uh, being uh, uh, highlighting the role of women in chemistry. Um, you're trying to correct the misconception that this is a male-dominated field, but is it? Well, um, you're right. Actually, gender I I as a topic is a global priority for UNESCO. 
in many, many subjects, particularly in science. And since we are a science bureau for the region, we wanted to really uh, highlight the role of women in, in chemistry. And again, this is why we made that choice of 2011 uh, to remind people of Marie Curie and her contributions. She actually received two Nobel Prizes, one of which is in chemistry. Uh, it is a common stereotype that science is for men and actually many parents even uh, react to it this way, encourage girls to other subjects, but girls are absolutely equally talented when it comes to science and it's just a matter of preparing them for it and uh, taking advantage of them. There are so many great women scientists and part of the year objectives is to, through the year, highlight more than Marie Curie. So it's a mm -hmm. reminder that women too can be pioneers in the field. Uh, absolutely and actually another thing that may be important for the audience to know is that uh, our office uh, in Cairo and UNESCO uh, at large globally have launched something called the L'Oreal Awards for Women in Science in collaboration with L'Oreal uh, uh, Cosmetics uh, Corporation, um, we have a pan-Arab version of L'Oreal Awards for Women in Science. So again, we put the light on the role of women in science. Here it's in chemistry, but uh, last year it was celebrated in Dubai. We celebrated five women winners mm -hmm. from the region, and this year we'll spread it to 12 Arab countries. It's again to, to really bring attention to the fact that women can be great scientists. Mm -hmm. Besides uh, encouraging students uh, to be more interested in chemistry, you were talking about how to make the society itself aware of the importance of chemistry. Yes. So what are some of the activities planned uh, for this event to create awareness? Well, this is, this is a challenging task actually. Mm -hmm. um, as you really know very well that uh, we hope that the media helps us in that regard and actually your program was the first to put the light on this. Um, it is very important to bring it home, bring it to people and media is the most powerful uh, tool mm -hmm. but there are also other media channels today. Uh, we hope to be able to use uh, social networks like Facebook and Twitter, places where the youngsters go and <coughs> get it to them in an easy language, uh, through examples, uh, spread the message. TV is great, uh, maybe radio talk shows would help. So over the year, we need to partner with media in this to spread the message in, in an easy, because chemistry also is picked because it's always perceived as a very difficult subject. Uh, if we manage to simplify it, I think we'll uh, simplify it and show the, the power uh, of being a chemist. Another objective, sir, is connecting members of the scientific community. Why is that important? Well, we actually, we, last um, Tuesday, we made the simple breakfast. We called it a networking breakfast or a chemical handshake um, to bring chemists here in Egypt together. And we connected via video link with similar breakfasts that were held in 30 other countries. We connected with the Netherlands and Germany, just for women. And uh, it was amazing for them to know each other. They are fragmented. Everybody is working in a corner. And bringing them together brings the subject back to life. And uh, the whole idea of it's networking. a wonderful idea. Mm -hmm. it, it, was, it was really good to see that and to see that even in between Egypt and Germany and Netherlands, they share exactly the same problems. Mm -hmm. So it was good to know that uh, we are not unique, uh, others share the same problems and it started this interest again, which is what we hope to do. And hopefully it will continue. Well, with your help and uh, the media support and people's support, we hope so. Well, hopefully. Do you think that uh, people here in the Arab world, especially young people, are interested in chemistry or in sciences? Is there a growing interest or are people kind of uh, running away to less applied subjects? Um, I think today, you are, yes, it's the second. They, they are attracted to less applied subjects, but it's not their fault. Uh, I don't think anybody gave them the right picture of uh, chemistry or physics or mathematics or different branches of science. Uh, young students need guidance and uh, it is very difficult for them to choose mm -hmm. what to study. Uh, without good advice, there is very little they, they know. And uh, uh, do they know enough about astronomy, about 
material science, about engineering, it's really very little. If you go back to mm -hmm. 11th grade or 12th grade, it all depends on what the parents say, what, what friends say. Um, so we need to do some work to, because many of them are very talented, but they don't even know that. But do you think that this uh, interest, maybe um, waning interest, is because of the job market? It's not demanding uh, jobs related to science? Or is it because of the difficulty of the subjects? It's both. Actually, the job market drives a lot of thinking today. Mm -hmm. And then that may be a reminder also to uh, our policymakers that working in science, um, at least in some parts of the world, quote unquote, doesn't pay. <laughs> mm -hmm. And many parents react to that and many, many youngsters react to that. But it does pay in industrial countries uh, where there are high-level research centers, research funding, and so on. But the other thing is, is in the 60s and 70s, the media and the public used to assign higher degree of respect to scientists. Mm -hmm. And that's something we have to bring back. If we recognize the, the crucial role of science to the development of a society, uh, it used to be that we celebrate science very much. We don't talk about pay, but we talk about how honorable it is and how mm -hmm. prestigious to be a scientist. Uh, uh, when I was at school, being a university professor or a researcher was such a, an elegant thing. Today, um, that assigning of respect has gone to other disciplines far away from science. So we try to re 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 regain that interest again. Ambassador uh, Shaoi, going back to the question of women in science, does the culture uh, in Egypt and the Arab world encourage girls to pursue a career in chemistry? Uh, n not in its present form uh, because uh, we all know that uh, there is this again stereotype that success for a, a girl, I'm talking about the average concept, mm. is related to building a family, having children, shy away from jobs that are demanding or require long hours in a lab and even the the the, the male culture uh, has to to also appreciate those kinds of jobs for for the women because mm -hmm. the the male part of the family has to encourage that and respect it so it's it's a whole culture it's a whole culture of respect to science and appreciation of what it means why why is it good that will help that but in many cases, you would see either the parents or the husband maybe objecting to those kinds of careers which require a lot of hours. But there are many, many examples also which we need to highlight, and, and your program should highlight, of women who succeeded in doing that, of building a family and building a career. Because success yeah. stories tend to be emulated. They are the most convincing. Absolutely. So I can preach as, as, as long as I can, but... but a short example of a woman who made it makes uh, a big dent in mm -hmm. that thinking. So what is your message to our viewers? Uh? Uh, well, I just being a scientist myself, I want to tell them that science is absolutely beautiful. And today, in a, at a time when we can all access tremendous amounts of information uh, through the networks, through... Uh, uh, we are open to the globe. The chances to, to learn about science is uh, just more than ever. And uh, science is the only way we can bring our country back to competition with mm -hmm. the rest of the world. So if we feel that responsibility, many young people really need to go into science, uh, show their talent, compete at the global stage. Sure, to get mm -hmm. the country more and more developed. Mm -hmm. Ambassador Tariq Shaoui, Director of the UNESCO Regional Bureau for Science in Arab States, we thank you very much for mm -hmm. being with us. Thank you. And we, we hope it's a successful you, year. Thank you. <laughs> Well, the Siwa Oasis is an oasis in Egypt, located nearly 500 kilometers from Cairo.